Um, how many of you were read Dr. Seuss stories when you were a little kid? How many in the audience can remember the exact picture of certain books or the pages that was in? <clears throat> Dr. Seuss stories, as you know, are primary colors, clean drawings, unrealistic trees, and you can remember every image, and I really think you recreated a lot of that story. It's one of the hard, yeah, bravo for that. But that's what you do. It's not like any other musical. Um, it's kind of dear to my heart because I got to do the original pilot of that show. And the guy who's on the cover of that um, musical, he's a theater and engineering guy. He's called the Horton, who was really on the beginning of that. And um, the Cat in the Hat and JoJo started it out like every book has to start out, that you really believe the cat's real. I mean, I didn't think you were human at all. <laughs> I just hope that you realize, I think you understand that your dancing was really impeccable, it was clean, your singing is great, full body. you're obviously a tight, hard-working ensemble that's got a great director that knows how to work you to your limit. <laughs> There's a lot of things that, have you performed this show yet? Yes. You have? It's another show, believe it or not. Sometimes you think, oh, we're done with the show and I never do it again. This is a great show to do again and grow with. So if you have an opportunity that you can find an audience or like a charity or do something for, you know, Sandy victims and save money and send it, do it again and take that opportunity. This material is so rich. The story is so rich. And the story, people think, oh, Susan Gold is a show for kids. It's not a show for kids. The story is very true. And don't we all need a horde in our lives right now? Yeah? And so really take those messages. Horton, I love the way you did it. You remind me the first time. But I'm going to pat you on the back, pat you on the back and give you another teaching tool. As a director, is he, would you, how do you feel about his role in this? Is he clumsy? Is he you know, innocent? What's your interpretation of yourself? He's very clumsy. You weren't clumsy. You were right on. <laughs> and when that little kangaroo backed you up, can I can I play with you for a minute? Do you mind? Come on up. Where's the where's the, where's the baby kangaroo? When is she, you don't you back him up at one place? Do your move that you back up. Can you take it right there? Now do it. I do exactly what you did. Keep going. It was really cool. Now then, don't you walk and he backs right up, or is that another part? Let's try the other, that was lovely, by the way. <laughs> Where's my other kangaroo? Can you do that part where he back steps and you go ahead? Now, quite honestly, you are much smaller than Horton we visualize in our head in the books, okay? Would you kind of take it, and forget the choreography, would you react to her this time? Don't do the choreography. React what she's doing to you. Your covers will be big. I just added about 612 pounds to your body. So think about that where you get Thank you. <laughs> okay, baby. You've got to come home with me now. All right. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you believe him a little more? Okay. You guys are fat. Thank you so much, Bravo. There's lovely places to go. Um, I will tell you a secret as long as it doesn't leave this room. Promise? Stephen Flaherty told me that he really likes this junior version even better than the original. And you know there's a lot cut out because it tells the story very true. So you should feel honored because he loves this cut. He did it, you know, we just kind of edited it a little bit. But he loves this cut. So the story is very rich. You can go back and explore your characters a different way. Musically, you're on. I love the parts. Part singing is really hard. This is another one like Island that is musically sung through. It's all music. There's no acting in it. It's even hard to find your place to rehearse. Don't you think for this show? It's really hard to come back with it. But use your dynamics more. You've got gorgeous voices. And there's some tender parts that the audience, you've taken their heart and you've pulled it out and you've tried to sew it back in. But use those dynamics. You've got a great set of tickets. You've got the whole game. Now take them and just keep shooting from home because it was just a pleasure to go. Thank you so much. So I uh, never would have thought that I would ever link uh, Dr. 
Dr. Seuss with Gangnam Style Dancing. <laughs> Where that came from, kind of broke. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I, it was a marathon, and you could, I mean, it, again, it's such a pleasure. You never stopped at, at all in the first place, like it just moves and it moves and moves. Now, I've never seen this before. I, I've only had the book, and the books are mute, except for, of course, the imagination you put into yourself. So it was really interesting to see the characterizations that you guys brought. Um, I thought the um, uh, call out to the, the Wickersham brothers, like, you know, again, like, it's not stop, you know, and it's a great energy, but um, once again, I think, you, just aside from doing the choreography, you grabbed us by the hearts and, and pulled us in. It's, it's not enough just to move, it's it's what your characterizations are too. And hello, I mean, as far as, as Cat and Pat, you, you know, that's tough. I mean, it's, it's you're the MC of the night, when you think about it, like that person, you know, has to essentially control so so much of how this goes. And and from the start, you can reach right out. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Um, it's also very interesting because uh, I think comedy, I think it's generally known, uh, if anybody uh, refutes this, please do, but I think comedy is sometimes harder than, than drama, you know, uh, and, and so that you found that and you found the right line where it's not just clowning or something, but it's really, it's, you, you're telling the story, but it's still in control. It's like, that, that's what I was impressed with. It wasn't like an out of control train, but it was just, you know, it was the appropriate amount of everything. But once again, knowing that comedy is sometimes some of the hardest stuff to do. I agree with the uh, idea of the, um, like there's some beautiful harmonies. I, there were moments when the music really came to you, so. Um, uh, I guess that's what I have to say. So, I, it was really a good <laughs>